Hi, this is Wayne Sully, and today we're going to just draw any old shit. Uh, just, you know, <laughs> not any old shit, but you know, just uh, what I really like to draw. And it's like demonic type heads and uh, evil shite, you know. So I just started off with a face. Uh, you know, really make that evil looking. And do the teeth. Really make it. I'm trying to go for something that's more. Um, looks like the demons out of them demons films, you know, the Dario Argento movies, classics. Um, you know, where the, all the teeth fall out and stuff. In, you know, and then all these demonic teeth just come through and then I've got, you know, horrible looking demonic plague type faces with all, you know, slava and shape, you know, dripping from the face. That's, you know, I'm ever draw something like that. That's what I'm aiming for with this drawing. Spare of the moment, drawing. Seeing as um, them sort of films was set in the 80s, I'll give him sort of like a daft curly wig, you know, a wig type hairstyle. Yeah, makes sense. A normal pencil for this. One of my proper pencils. Just do quick swirls like that because uh, it's all going to be layered off with black anyway. And maybe there's all sorts of stuff dripping off the demon's face. Why? thought was uh, quite good about the movies is um, uh, the demons uh, would sort of like come through into our world uh, through the you know like a TV screen or the cinema or something you know and it was like it was like the movies was always playing uh, and you know demons one and two and uh, you know they'd always just come through and you know they'd uh, affect someone turn them into a demon and then they'd infect all the others and you know it's just madness but it's great great movies classic movies from my childhood you know and they have that 80s vibe as well uh, particularly with the 80s music which uh, was my sort of era back as a kid in there just because I want to go over this with uh, maybe a, a prism colour and just start to colour in you know without inking it for a change so yeah I've got them sorted out there so I shall start getting the prism colour right away and go over these teeth and that Actually, I won't erase any pencil lines, I'll just go straight for the adding the colour just as a demonic concept. You know, don't always have to you know, follow the same format, that's what I wanted to try and do, do different stuff on my channel now and just experiment. I will be experimenting with the uh, digital art. Um, 
but that's sort of like a learning you know experience at the moment because I'm going through a book I've got Photoshop and I just want to experiment a bit before I do a, a video on that um, but that should be fun because I've got a few drawings that I need to colour uh, which I'll probably do digital and just have fun just maybe sort of learn as I go along as well so so there will probably be how to tutorials it'll be sort of like how to follow along with me as I learn how to do digital <laughs> so yeah we'll just make all that drippy green goo stuff you know from the demon Shading all this just to help separate the teeth somewhat. <laughs> In them there. Uh, Demon movies. Uh, what I thought was funny, one and two, it had the same, the same black dude in it, and it'd, it'd be like, oh, you know, they yeah, take charge, sort of like, block, like, and he'd be like, hmm, yeah, let's do this, let's do that, and he, he always gets killed in it. That's, uh, I just thought that was funny. You know, to have the same type of character in both films, <laughs> I think it was some kind of. Uh, I don't know, like an in joke when I was making the movies, but it's just, it's just funny. I love having films. Two of my most favourite films, classics. I do under the eyes now. I'm start to add shading together with these lines as well because it's not a traditional you know outline where I'm just going around all the outlines I need to start shading the rest of it because yeah, a lot of this face is going to be pale there's going to be a bit of red under the eyes as well so just have fun with the drawing Blood and all sorts stripped off there. And yeah, good. Hair, so it's going to be all curly, curly whirly hairstyle. It sort of covers the ears as well because it's like a massive 80s um, type of afro type of thing. <laughs> curly whirly mop top. just be real sketchy about that you'd have to be too precise because it's all about the technique that you lay down and I'll try and do the the curly hair
we come back to that. Just sort of finish up the rest of the face. So want to start to add a, uh, different bits of colour in there, you know. Once we start shading these bits. demon thing there we found the chin should be somewhere on there and these bits will just all dribble off so we can start to add Maybe bits of red under the eyes and bits of blood and there'll be a lot of green horrible manky stuff underneath there so this is like a, a red under here and you can probably do veins in the eyes like that and these gonna be like a red yellow type eyes totally bloodshot eyes few veins there underneath all red more had a bit of purple underneath there as well just to smooth that out using prisma colours by the way if you didn't already know it says there and blood and all sorts there which can make slightly purple as well if you wanted to as well just to help bring the drawing together somehow with the art of illusion yeah Mixed in with uh, other types of snot and pus and all that horrible gunk, saliva and yeah, monkey stuff. to be uh, green as well mixed in some of that will be in like greens as well and some of the face will be slightly green Love that pale take colour to it only slight bits of green there here and there I do want to introduce some purples to it as well Get a light purple 
more like a violet colour. We'll start just to go around a bit of these bits on here and maybe go into the eye slightly as well. Just to blend a bit of colour in there and just to make them look more demonic as well. Yeah, and if I remember there's some maybe sort of browns on the eyes as well. We'll get them in there later. And smooth some of this off and add some nice purple colour. demons is you really want to try and get some kind of infected type of colours you know like um, you know, mix the colours and just try and see what you can come up with you know maybe do some I don't know purple Veins and on the head, like that. Just try and you know, add different things to it. Maybe add some purpleness around the top of the eyes. around the nose it's just about building up different colours yeah, what else can we add here said some browns just add some browns to the eyes maybe in the, the centre of the eyes We can give them you know, like a yellow uh, tinge to them. Just so add the yellow in on top. Maybe add in a layer of red in the well brown, sorry. Building <laughs> track of colours. Sorry, the brown. The brown and the purple uh, together just don't know, create like a, a nice shade, a nice shadow for an evil eye. And if you wanted to, you could bring them veins back out. Um, maybe with a light purple, just go over it. You know, I'm just just to darken them. Slightly. And then can maybe get back to the hair. Try and you know, work on this a bit harder. There'll be darker areas which I want to maybe do the bottom of the hair like that. And then it probably gets lighter as it gets on the top. Like that. 
can just smooth it all out. Have darker areas. Just keep working on it. darken this up and it gets lighter on the top You could smooth this out with uh, like a white or something, or you could add some greys to it if you've got grey prism colours. Um, I'll come back to that. Um, so this demon, uh, it's a concept drawing. You could work on the teeth. You know, maybe add some shade into them. Uh, you know, if I remember the demon. Uh, Real monkey roots of you know the teeth, um, something like that. You can keep doing that. You could keep adding different bits of detail here and there. I'll just quickly do this, and I'd say this concept drawing is over. Twenty-minute drawing video. I started this drawing video off without exactly knowing what I was going to do and that's pretty much the case with most of my videos unless I get a request so I think I'll leave it as that you can always come back to a drawing once you've uh, you know how to go at it or you can scan it in and do some digital work uh, but I'll leave it as that for now so a demon with a right curly wig. Cheers now.